wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. What? Why? Those painful memories, Captain. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. So Ada isn't really alive, but it, sorry, she can still talk like a person. What about Sam? What's it? Sorry. He, is he the same thing? Sam's an auto mechanical thing, not a computer brain thing like Ada. I don't think Sam understands gender, so you can call him it if you want. Right, but she's a machine, he's a machine. How are they different? You know how I said Ada was special? Her wiring's a whole lot more complex than Sam's, so she can simulate a personality better than he can. She got more tools in her box, so to speak. Hmm. So he's following his own rules, making everything obnoxiously clean because he has to. Maybe I ought to let up on him a bit. Are we gonna get in trouble today? Not that I want to. Just seems to happen around you, is all. Sure thing, Captain. I'll be waiting back at the Unreliable if you need me. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. For a round of whist, or a round of whiskey, or both.
want to make a run with me to Stella Bay? The boss lady told me to take the night off. No. Always imagined Falbrook would be... If you're feeling like the civilized type, the waterfall's a good spot to wash your clothes. Mind your own business, friend. Mind your own business, friend. Mind your own business, friend. Back for a rest? Space adventuring is tiring work. Do return in one piece. Captain? What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Yes, that's about the long and short of it. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you! It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, 
It will make me feel a whole lot better. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Could I have a word with you, Captain? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my... violent enthusiasm. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long. I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed the stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. in the mood to chat. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Destination reached, Scylla.
We're getting close to the hermit. I can feel it. System. Sweeping the area. Incoming! <laughs> Security. <laughs> Solar winds deposited on my doorstep now. Just more dirt and debris. Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. A crass way to put it, but yes, chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. Well, shit, we've come this far. We die. At least we'll die hearing colors and seeing sound. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. drugs have warped your sense of truth along with your face is it just me or is everything a little wavy in here never mind this is all lies i'm sure of it we are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated uh perpetrated i mean we're being made fools of aren't we when i get out of here I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out, always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place, never looking inside himself. What in the voice? 
What do you expect him to find inside himself? It's just blood and squishy bits of... Oh no. If I vomit on you, I want you to know I ain't sorry. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better... more full of the plan. This here, it's all coming out wrong. The plan, it filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. I could tell you all manner of stories. If I weren't... Oh, I'm sticking to, to alcohol from now on. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... that... I, damn it. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To attain your goals, you must live the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants, more assuredly than even the fictional architect's plan you sleep away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? know what to say. Thank you, Captain, but I just... I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder, better person than I am? But that's not what you're doing, is it? You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in your head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you. The contented you. Me. That's not... Uh, it can't be right. I, I've only been searching for the answer to the equation. Because it will set us free. Won't it? How? By removing the need to make any decision. To have your life completely controlled. 
The illusion of certainty? Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question. Who are you? I'm Max. Me! I'm real! You can't convince me otherwise! Please don't convince me I'm not. Your individual self is what's not real. It is simply a concept. By the architect. Architect? How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. It's all lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our... ourselves? I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. Ruined? You seem to be having quite the time. Though I must admit I was a bit concerned when you stripped naked and tried to eat your clothes. I was joking. You passed out fairly early in the process. Well before I realized what an ignorant fool I've been. Everything is perfect. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. I am content. I've finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. Here they come.
I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Sam, uh, I've got a question. Do you use alcohol as a cleaning agent? I've heard some folk do that. Alcohol-based cleaners can compare to Samson Ray Acid Spray Premium Nozzle Attachment. Installation available for as low as nine payments of 99.99 bits. Is that a yes or a no? I can never tell with you. Warning, liquid is caustic. Keep out of reach from Elderly customers and lab spread. You seen Arthur today? Uh huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sisty pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, you're as welcoming as ever. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. I'll be sure to remember that, fella. Wanna tell me what you need? Well, I'm half listening. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. And I'll thank you kindly. Catherine's great, eh? See? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. Cell sanitization needed. Alert. Cell sanitization needed. Unit's air purity sensors are indicating a lethal level of inebriation emanating from a nearby organic source. Please, you think this is bad? You ought to get your sensors recalib... recal... You ain't seen me drunk.
news, customer. All germs and contaminants have been neutralized. I'd stake my reputation on this being an ambush. Nasty. competition. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Hiding from the marauders that hit us, obviously. Now your turn. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. 
The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook, just as soon as I've caught my breath. Invasive contaminants detected. Resuming passive mode. Scanning for...
detecting unclean sulfuric steeped presence within the immediate vicinity. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as anyway. Excellent timing on you're getting ahead of yourself. So I the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Mighty big of you. Suppose we'll have to see if Graham's able to do the same. Believe me, you've got your work cut out for you there. Was there anything else? I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. What can I do? Still don't know it, but I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap muscle. Hey, Velma, I got... Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. No. I paid Sublight for it. So it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering.
I got a feeling you and Catherine would get on like tumors on a pig. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering... Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was gonna spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker too. Never get the chance to use it these days. <laughs> 